I tend to find my tech bag changes pretty much every year and I don't like to make these videos unless something changes pretty drastically. But recently I've actually upgraded my bag to a completely new one. I've got a bunch of new camera equipment and I'm actually taking around a lot of different stuff with me. So I think it's time I updated this video for this year and let's take a look at what's in my tech bag for 2023. Let's start off with the biggest change, which is my actual bag. And this is the Peak Design 20 litre everyday backpack. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you. It's taking a long time for me to actually enjoy using this. And I'm still not quite there yet. Now for all intents and purposes, this is an incredible bag. It's really well made. They've thought about absolutely everything. There's handles everywhere. There's slots for everything. And it holds a huge amount of gear. And there's some things I really love, like the top access and this latching sort of system to get into the top of your bag but I just find in this bag nothing feels overly secure. Now let me explain that. Inside this bag are kind of these origami folding things which are used to kind of customize the interior so you can hold whatever you like and while that is really good and I love that on the surface when I put cameras in here or battery packs or anything else which is kind of high value nothing feels secure and everything wobbles around a little bit and for camera purposes that makes me a little bit nervous. Now I could be using this wrong and I really hope I am but right now I'm not huge on the origami system and I'm still trying to figure it out to fit everything properly however there are some things I love the fact that it opens up from the side and from either side is really good for that instant access to your camera and on the inside of these flaps once you open up there's plenty of pockets and little zippers for absolutely everything you can imagine. There's magnets on the back straps as well. So when you put the bag down, it kind of folds in really neatly, which is really nice. Not many other bags do that. And there's handles everywhere. So you can kind of carry this any way you like, which is just fantastic. And I really hope I get there with it because it's such a nice bag and I love the look of it. I love the stealthiness of it. But it's just that kind of interior packing right now. It's not working for me. If you've got any tips or advice and leave them in the comments below because I could really use them. All right, let's move on to the computers I'm taking with me. And these change very much depending on what I'm doing during the day. But the newest one for me at the moment is the M1 Pro MacBook Pro base model, which I picked up relatively recently as my new laptop from my old 16 inch MacBook Pro from 2019. And this base model MacBook Pro has been absolutely fine for me on the move. Now I was really tempted with the M2 MacBook Air because when I reviewed that, I absolutely loved it and I was really tempted to switch to it. But by the time I'd spec'd it up, I was getting into pretty much the same territory as the MacBook Pro, and this has got a way better screen and way more ports, which means I no longer need to take a dongle round with me anymore, which is fantastic. If I know I'm gonna have a lighter day, then I will take my iPad Air with me, and I usually have this attached to the Apple Magic Keyboard. This is the iPad Air with M1, the 256 gigabyte version, I've got it in purple, and I love the iPad, you know this, I know this. So if I'm gonna have a lighter day, I will take that with me, and I'll use it for note taking or for doing really small edits now on Final Cut Pro for video editing, or if I'm doing some light photo editing, I'll take that instead. But if I'm not taking either of those out with me, or if I am just taking my laptop, I will always bring the iPad mini. I've been loving this since I picked it back up and it's been such a great little companion for note taking or for playing some games or just for consuming some content if I'm on the train or something like that. And best of all, because this is so slim and light, it just goes straight into my bag and I almost don't even feel I've added it in, which is great. Next up in new things is a recent pickup which I'm a huge fan of and this is a Nintendo Switch OLED model. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll know I love the Nintendo Switch and I finally buckled to upgrade when the new Zelda Tears of the Kingdom was coming out. And it's been absolutely fantastic. Colors absolutely pop off this screen. And if you play handheld a lot or mainly, this is 100% worth the upgrade. If you play docked, it's probably not really worth it because there's no difference in terms of graphical quality. But handheld stuff, this is fantastic. And for me, playing Tears of the Kingdom on here has just been wonderful. I've been a huge fan of the Zelda series since I was a little boy. And Tears of the Kingdom is everything that Breath of the Wild did but again and better and there's more of it. It's just fantastic. I'm about 30 hours in at this point and I feel like I've barely scratched the surface. And of course to hold the switch, I couldn't help but get the Animal Crossing case. This thing is gorgeous. I love the graphic design on here. I always have for anything Animal Crossing. So getting the switch in there just looks great. And that usually goes into the top pocket of my bag. Moving on to headphones, I always have my AirPods Pro with me, the first generation, but I'm really kind of sad to report these have finally died on me. The battery lasts for about a day, and when I put these in my ears, they crackle awfully for about five seconds before they kick in. 
and then usually the left one will disconnect or something like that. And I am a bit gutted because they're relatively expensive, but these are pretty much three and a half, nearly four years old now. So maybe they've done their job as best as they can. And because of that, I've actually moved over to the Nothing Ear Ones, which are a decent pair of in-ear buds. I kind of bought these to test out just to see what they're like, but now they're kind of turned into my main headphones for now. I don't think I'm gonna use these forever. I don't love the case. I think getting them in and out is too fiddly and the sound is kind of okay. I also think the case is a bit too big to slip into a pocket, but into a tech bag, they're absolutely fine. I think I'll use these for a little bit longer, but I'm most likely going to pick up the AirPods Pro 2. But for now, I'll use the Nothing Ear ones. The lower two big pockets in this bag I use for my cameras and my two workhorse cameras at the moment are the Sony FX3, which is a recent pickup, which I've been absolutely loving. That's what I'm using to film this video right now. And my Sony a7 IV. These are the cameras I use for pretty much all of my professional work. So everything you see here on YouTube, everything you see on Instagram, all of my client work, all of my stuff I used to do for marketing agencies is all shot on these cameras. As for lenses, when I'm going out, I usually just take two with me. And one of those is the Sigma 20 to 70 f 2.8 this is great for coverage nice zoom range and it's f 2.8 which gives you a decent depth of field and especially zoomed into 70 you can get some really nice bokeh on this lens but if i really am looking for bokeh i'll switch out to my sony g master this is another new piece of equipment for me and this is the 50 mm f 1.4 this is a relatively new lens from sony and it's absolutely incredible if i'm looking for that dreamy bokeh i can stop this down to f 1.4 and get that beautiful b-roll been using it for pretty much all of my photography recently and for most of the b-roll you see on this channel that's all thanks to that lens it was a bit of an extravagance at the price that i paid for it but i love it and my one kind of fun camera which i take with me sometimes is the fujifilm xe4 i'll take this if i'm going out somewhere for the day and i want to take better photos than my iphone can or if i just want to enjoy taking photos because these fuji cameras really do give you that on the lens front, I was using the 15 to 45 kit lens for a long time, which I really like, but I ended up using that at the wide end all the time. So I picked up the 16 mil prime lens, which is the f 2.8. And I really love the results of this. Any Fuji camera just gives you that wonderful out of camera look. And there's so much hype around them at the moment as well. I'm really glad I held onto this because I almost sold it like I did for my X100V probably a mistake now looking back at it, but this has just been a fantastic camera and the results are just so stunning. Whenever I look back at the photos, they're just great. And I only ever shoot JPEG this thing. I never want to go into a RAW and edit it and all that stuff like my Sony. I just want a decent result out of camera and I get that from the Fuji. In those lower regions of the bag as well, I also have my native Union Stow organizer. This just holds mainly wires and other kind of uninteresting things like that. But there are two things which I will talk about, which I really like. One is this Ugreen charging block. This has got 100 watts of PD power, which is really useful. It's got three USB-Cs and one USB-A slot, so I can charge up pretty much everything. And the other thing I keep in there is my Anker 3-in-1 charging cube. Not only does it charge your iPhone, it also charges your Apple Watch with this cute kind of pop-out section. And also on the back, there's another wireless pad to charge up your AirPods. So when you load this thing up, it can charge absolutely everything at the same time. And it's such a wicked little design. I really like this thing. Some other little things I keep in there are my Kingston SSD. This is a two terabyte one. Fantastic for moving things around. That always sits in there. Next up is another new one for me. This is my external battery charging bank. This is the Char Geek Storm 2 Slim. This is a 20,000 milliamp hour battery charger. And the design on this thing is kind of wild. It's almost cyberpunky. You can kind of see through it and see all the circuits and you can see all those sorts of things. And it's even got a little screen on it so you can see how many watts are going in, how many are going out. And usually this sort of design isn't my thing, but honestly, this is kind of sick. I am relatively lucky because most of my devices don't need charging if I'm going out for a day, but this one can charge up the MacBook a little bit if I need it to. It can charge up an iPad mini pretty much the whole way and it will charge my phone multiple times over. Let's talk about some fun extras now because I always do these for all of my bags. I think it's really important, at least for me to do so. First up is my bag SD card. This is just an old SD card, which I always hope I'll never have to use. 
that stays in one of the pockets on the side. And the idea of that is if I ever take a camera and forget an SD card, I've always got one in my bag that I can use. I also hide an AirTag somewhere in my bag as well, so I can track it if it ever does get lost, which is useful. I got a few business cards on the sides as well. I don't really give these out too much, but I like to have them with me in case I ever need to give some of my kind of contact details. I always keep some pens in my bag as well, and right now I'm still loving the Muji variety. I always pick these up whenever I go to London or somewhere else for Muji store, but these are wonderful to write with. I use the 0.5 ones. And finally is my water bottle or coffee mug of choice. Now this is day dependent as well. If I'm going out all day, I'll most likely take this Lark bottle with me. They were a sponsor on the last video and I've been using this ever since. It's kind of expensive, but it does purify your water in there with a click of a button, which is really cool. And also love the design, love the color, obviously. And the other one might be the Chili's coffee mug. I've been using this for a while now. It's starting to show all sorts of wear and tear, but this is great, holds coffee in here and it completely seals up. So I can actually toss this in my bag if I need to as well. And I've also got to talk about this very briefly too. This is a mug we've made over at Kuroku. That's my little online store. And this is a Pocky's Cafe design. If you've ever seen Pocky jump up on the desk, here then this is a mug based off him and they've been really popular there's only a few of these mugs left so if you want to grab one I'll link it below love the design work we've done on here and it's just super cute so yeah had to mention that one as for my EDC stuff, so things like my phone, my wallet and my watch and all things like that, I have a whole video on it, so I'll link it up here. But to go over it very briefly, the iPhone 14 Pro Max, my phone of choice at the moment, wonderful battery, wonderful screen, wonderful camera, love that thing. I wear the Apple Watch Series 8 five days of the week so I can keep up with things like fitness and all that sort of stuff. But I actually really don't like wearing it much at the moment. I've kind of fallen into the mechanical watch trap and I love wearing those watches now. And on the weekend, I'll absolutely wear one of those instead. And my watch collection is slowly growing, which isn't good for me. For my keys, I'm using the Orbit Key Key Organizer, which is a fantastic product, absolutely love that. And my wallet is this little one from Herschel, which just holds cards, no coins. So that's a very brief overview of my EDC. I actually take a lot more stuff than that, so go and watch the video if you are more interested. So that pretty much rounds up everything I've been carrying with me over the past six months. And I don't think a huge amount will change over the next six months either. If you've got any other bag recommendations or tech and EDC gear in general, then do let me know in the comments below because I always love to hear what you have to think. And as always, I will see you all in the next one.